Check, check, check. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, good afternoon, university students. We're here today to talk again about God, about Jesus, about his love. It's just the greatest message. We got to come back every day and we got to tell you because there's somebody out here that needs to hear. There's somebody out here that needs to know that God loves you, that Jesus is calling you, that Jesus died for you. You know, there's somebody out here that needs to hear about grace and needs to hear about forgiveness and needs to hear about freedom. So if that's you, man, today's your day because God sent us out here to tell you about Jesus Christ. You know, if love was personified, it would be personified in Jesus. If love were personified, it would be personified in Jesus and Jesus alone because the Bible says that even while we were sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. Think of that. Think of that. While you were in sin, while I was in sin, Jesus Christ died so that I could be forgiven, so that you could be forgiven. There is really no better message. So if you are here today, I want to tell you Jesus is calling you. Yes, Jesus Christ is calling you. Jesus Christ loves you. There is a God. There is truth. There is right and wrong. There is a day of judgment coming, but there's also an opportunity to have your sins washed. You see, in the Bible, God says, come, let us reason together. Though your sins be like scarlet, I'll make them white as wool. Though your sins be red like crimson, I'll make them white as snow. So you see, what God wants to do is he wants to take our life and make it clean. Yes, you can have a clean life no matter your past, no matter what you've done. There's a way to experience freedom and there's a way to experience forgiveness and there's a way to experience being clean. And it's through Jesus Christ. So today's the day. Today's the day. God is calling you today. I would challenge you today. If you hear my voice, Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ is calling you. And you may say there's no God. You may say, oh, I'm an atheist. But that doesn't deny the fact that there really is a God. You could say the earth is flat and the earth is round. The earth is round. You could say there's no gravity. Well, there is gravity. You could say there's no God, but there is a God and we are all accountable to him. You see, God, he didn't create us to be creatures of comfort. He didn't create us to be creatures of pleasure. He didn't create us to be selfish. God created us to love one another, to love one another. But if you're disconnected from him, that's like being disconnected from electricity if you're a TV. You don't work right if you're not connected to electricity. So when you're not connected to God, your life won't work right. In fact, the Bible says that when people's lives are separated from God, they're headed more and more towards destruction. What do you think of that? Is your life connected to are Jesus today? Are you, are you posting on TikTok? Am I posting on TikTok? Yeah. No, you just recording. TikTok? No, I don't have... Just, just to look back I, and like whack it off. Uh, no, I'm here to preach the gospel, to preach about Jesus. What do you think about Jesus? I don't know if you want me to talk about Jesus on mic. No, talk about Jesus on the mic. I w this is an open mic. I actually like it for people to have the opportunity to share. Remember me? Okay. Hey, what's up? What if every Christian hey. ever just ceased to exist? I'm not. I don't mean in a bad way, but nobody had ever heard of heard of God or the Christian faith. Is like if if every Christian died and there was no recollection of the history, would everyone else? who just never even knew about Christianity be doomed to go to hell just because they were never exposed to it. Okay, so your hypothetical is like if there is literally no Christians on the face of the earth. Well, once upon a time, have you ever heard of Abraham? Do you know of Abrahamic religion, Judaism, and Christianity? Are you yeah. familiar with that? So God, the God of the universe can call people to himself without another human being having to do it. It just, it becomes, God, God makes his appeal through us. So you say if somebody were to never hear about Jesus, are they automatically doomed to hell? The Bible actually says that God has revealed himself. God has revealed himself in creation and he's written a conscious so on our heart. Why is most violent crime committed Here, by sh share it on the mic. Did it answer your question, what I said? I don't think so. Because, Why not? I said that okay, God so has called... An, an, ind an indigenous tribe who's never been exposed to Christianity, they have I don't believe that God just comes down and pre presents himself to, to whatever indigenous tribe. 
and the, they were never even exposed to religion in the first place. They never had the chance to believe in God, and based on Christianity, they'd still be doomed to go to hell. No, the, have you ever read the Bible? Okay, so in the book of Romans, in Romans 2, it talks about that. It says that those that lived according to God's law, though it was never given to them through direct revelation, God accounts it as righteousness to them. So there, it's not like every single person in history that never was a Jew or never read the Torah and never heard about Jesus is just doomed to hell. But here's the issue. We have all sinned. So do you think that those people in that tribe have sinned? Have they done anything wrong? What, what's the sin to you? Have they lied? Have they stolen? Have they lusted? Have they hated? Have they been selfish when they should have been sacrificial? So you Why see the... Why is that bad? Because the Bible says, the Bible fun. says that, slave well, let me, let me help you understand. Christianity makes it moral to be a slave. No, not moral to be a slave. Do you have a relationship with somebody? Do you have yeah. a girlfriend? Are you committed to her? Do you still view pornography? No. Okay, so you limit yourself for your relationship. You don't view pornography because you want to be faithful in your relationship. And that is a good thing to not view pornography when you're in a relationship. So you limit your freedom out of love. So you say the person that's in another country or another place and they never hear about Jesus, God is working on each person's heart. And, but the problem is we have a sinful nature. Mankind, everybody, man, woman, whether they grew up Muslim, Buddhist, Jewish, even somebody that grows up Christian, we all have a sinful nature that's in rebellion to God. You don't think lying's a sin? I don't think envy's a sin. Do you th come, so hold on, come, come say that on the mic. You don't think li lying to you, you think lying's okay? Yeah, there's a bunch of different situations in which people can lie. I'm sure people have told lies that, that have saved lives. And there's all sorts of things. And envy, envy is the best motivator. If you want to achieve something in your life, if, if religion puts envy down as a sin, it's, it's not good to be envious. If you, if you want to go out and succeed in the world and you see somebody who has something you don't and you're envious, if the envy is your motivator to then make a change in your life, and improve yourself, then envy was undeniably good for you, even though it's a sin. 